Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to the Scarecorp channel. Today I will be showing you how to clean a two-stroke carburetor. Let's get started. And here are the things that you'll need to clean your carburetor. You'll need a little Phillips screwdriver. You'll need a utility knife. You'll need a compressed air. You'll also need intake cleaner or carburetor cleaner. A nice clean rag for you to work on. And you also need uh, a bowl or something to spray the carburetor cleaner. Uh, at. And you also want to make sure that your uh, your workspace is um, ventilated as well because you don't want to be breathing in the fumes. So there is a number of reasons why you want to clear your carburetor. So first off here's uh, what a carburetor looks like. It's a two-stroke carburetor. Uh, you can find them at on um, weed eaters, weed whackers. Here's your throttle, your throttle screw primer bulb, intake and return. So um, here's why I want to clean mine today. So when I press the bulb, it doesn't come back up. You press it, press it, and it's not going to do anything. So it's not getting um, circulation inside. There's, there's some gunk in there or something. So the only way it comes out is if I let some air in there. Close it up again. I get maybe half a squeeze here, one and a half or something sometimes, and and it's back to to being stuck. So let's uh, take a look at how we can properly clean this. Okay, so when rebuilding a carburetor, <clears throat> first thing you want to do is go to your local repair shop and see if they have a kit for a, a rebuild kit for your carburetor um, because uh, chances are that when you're when you're repairing it or when you're when you're trying to clean it you will end up wrecking something so I mean especially if it's your first time maybe if you've done these couple of these before and you're really careful um, you should be fine like some I guess there are some carburetors that you know that you can find kits for because they're you know they're pretty um, old or, or specialized and it's it's hard to get a kit you wanna lay yourself a nice uh, clean rag out and you can start with the top or the bottom I like to start at the bottom there's two Phillips screws here so important thing when you're uh, taking this apart if you've never done one before uh, take pictures or you know or line them up on 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 your on your sheet here um, just kind of try to remember how, how this all went back t together okay so there's the cover and whenever it's stuck you might want to come in here and and um, use your utility knife to kind of pry pry the gaskets apart so there's our diaphragm okay, it's still intact next to our cover and in here is where you'll find your your needle for your jet so it's on a spring and it usually has one screw uh, Phillips that you you can take out. So when you want to when you take this off, what you want to do is uh, put your thumb over the screw or over pretty much the whole part uh, except for the screw that you're taking out. Just because this has a tendency of popping out. Again, you kind of put it here. And when you're taking this out, and especially if you've never done it before, um, where are you? There you are. So try to remember how this went. Okay, so usually it has a spring and and a little needle. 
So there's that needle. Then we can start working on, so I'm going to leave this kind of all but together. And then I'm going to start a new section here for the top. So again, two Phillips, one, two. We have a plate and a primer bulb. To check if these are still good, um, just just squeeze them and if and then just kind of look at all around, see if there's any cracks or not. If you got a rebuild kit, you don't care. Okay, so this part, and then our gasket. And there's actually two parts to the gasket here. There's a little wreath and the gasket. I like to keep them together. Um, so in general, this is as far as you want to go. I will not uh, take this gasket off because I don't have a rebuild kit. Um, and chances are that I will do more harm than, than good. So the next step is just take your carburetor cleaner and spray in and all the holes. So um, what I forgot, most important part, safety glasses. Um, it's uh, it's a, a very important part that you do wear them because um, this has a really bad tendency of um, spraying back in your face. Okay, so you just want to be pretty liberal with the uh, with the spray. Um, it's good to have a full can. Um, you know, and then just spray everywhere. Yeah, start with the outside, get any of that grass and gunk and pretty much uh, all the crud off the outside because you don't want to transfer all that stuff on the in to the inside. And then, oh, there he goes, he's spraying me. So, and then start finding your holes and Plug them all up with the with the end, and then just spray spray everywhere. Okay. And as soon as uh, you do that, you want to grab your air and give it a nice spray. And again, go in all the holes that you sprayed in before. So this part is done. Okay, so you just put it aside and start working on the rest. So this is the next uh, biggest piece here, so I'll spray this guy here. Okay. Then again, grab your air. This little wreath, um, <clears throat> unless it's got really gross crap on it, um, you almost don't want to um, spray it that much on it. Maybe just give it a nice tiny once over and just kind of hold most of it um, together so you don't break any pieces. And then, and then just give it a as soon as you're done, just kind of a nice dry down. The gasket uh, looks good. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, this guy here, same. Um, looks pretty clean. I will give this metal piece a nice little bit of a once over. Yeah. Okay, and again, you want to pat that down. needle okay and you're pretty much ready for um, putting this thing back together so let me show you how to do that to put everything back together yeah probably you want to start with the needle and a little spring thing um, this is the hardest part <clears throat> and this usually takes a little bit of patience 
and finesse. Um, so the way this works is this just kind of slips in here like that and then the back of it takes the needle so um, you just want to put it in the hole just like that and then the, the really the spring getting the spring under there is the the hardest part and there we go so hold it all down while you screw it all together and by pressing it your thing should move up and down your needle okay so uh, the next part is getting this gasket back on here Just like that, you want to just kind of take a once over, make sure everything's lined up, the holes are showing. And the way this goes is that usually the intake and out uh, are on the same side. Then I'm going to spray my primer bulb here. I didn't do that yet. Okay, put it all. Yeah, they're like that. Okay. Seat it in there. Grab our two Phillips. Screw them. Just like that. You can actually already test the primer bolt. So by squeezing it. Take a look. Problem solved. So I'm happy. All right, to put the um, bottom on, uh, the little circle or the, the the metal part of the diaphragm goes on the inside, and you'll see that the holes will line up, and there's a little tab on uh, this side that kind of holds that. Um, <clears throat> third uh, hole, uh, fourth hole there, so kind of goes in like that, and the bottom, the little tab holds it there, and your two screws will tighten that down. All right, and there we have it. I rebuilt carburetor. If you have any comments. Uh, questions please post them down below uh, if you like this video please give me a thumbs up I really appreciate that and if you want to see more of these videos as soon as they come out hit the subscribe button and that's what will happen alright I'm gonna put this back on there and hopefully uh, it'll start working there so um, again thank you very much for your time this is it for mine bye now